Hi YouTube, this is Family Gone Natural, and I'm gonna do some reviews on some cameras, some um, cameras for YouTube, y'all. Everybody's been requesting this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video right quick. Okay, I have quite a few cameras in my family. Um, these are my family cameras. It's it's like a bunch of them, and I'm gonna go through them. Okay, when you're looking for a camera, if you're looking for a YouTube camera, this is one. Okay, this one. All right, this is a YouTube camera. Okay, I find nothing special about this camera. Um, it doesn't load up any faster. Um, it's YouTube. Very, only thing that's special about this camera is after ten minutes, it shuts off automatic. That's the only thing I find special about this camera. Still, pictures are pretty, but when you're videotaping. You need a lot of lightning. With all cameras, you it's all about the lightning. I can give you a, a range of cameras that we have now that's not even, um, they're not manufacturing now because they consider dinosaurs because of the megapixel. Right now, this one is at a 7.2 and um, I I paid like a hundred and sixty something dollars. So now they got the ten and the twelve for this amount. This one here, um, I paid five hundred for this is Sony, and um, this is five point one megapixel, and I could, and this was five hundred, and now you can get the um eight point something for um a hundred and something. So the megapixel, let me tell you what what the five point one and the seven point one is. It's how big the picture are and how clear it is. Say you want to do like a life size picture of yourself. You want to need the more megapixel, the seven point um two and up. That's all. Um, say you want a video to YouTube. You want a smaller. You're not gonna use all the seven point. Two, because if you use 7.2, it's going to load up. It's going to take so long, it's going to be ridiculous. So what's good about this one is the, the um when you put it on YouTube, the size is going to be smaller. So you might be taping at 3 point something. And then um, it's, it's, it's all about the format you're using too. Okay, say I use any one of these cameras, okay, and I have it at a high setting. I can take and put it through Windows Media, and on the smallest setting, they got the DVD setting. I think I think they got um, HD some something. They got um, um, all kind of settings. But the bigger the file is, the slow the um slower it's gonna be to upload to YouTube. Okay, so say I use um tape at the 7.2 when i put it through um windows media i'm gonna have to format it um under either 7.2 if it's under five i'm sorry if it's under five minutes i can use um i want to say 7.2 m hd something something but it's in the, i think it's 700 and some um HD, I'm going to get the right, I'm going to put a little description of it, what I'm trying to say. But if it's under five minutes, I can put it under HD and it might take about 10, 10 minutes to load up. But if it's over 10 minutes, I would not put it under HD. I would do the DVD setting or something smaller. You kind of get what I'm saying? Okay. All right. If you're doing tutorials, you're going to need either a webcam or you're going to need a video camera that you can take and flip. Like I say, it's all about a, about the lighting. With this camera here, um, hold on, what is it called? It's A-I-P-T-E-K, Epic. Aptek. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, with this camera, do you see the light? 
is built in. This is about a hundred dollars. Actually, this is a pretty good camera. I can't really tell you. See the name all scratched up, and I really can't see the small writing, y'all. Um, this camera here is is a pretty good camera. It's about a hundred dollars. Um, like I say, it's all about the lighting. The lighting is built in on this one. I I can't give I can give you. It's a I P T E K D Z O dash V fifty. I don't know if that's the model or whatever. But if you go look for this camera now, this over a year old, they probably have a better camera camera now because um it's like every six months they give you more megapixel. So okay. Like I say, doing tutorials. If you're doing tutorials on yourself, you're going to need something that's going to flip around where you can, like, you can tape yourself. Okay? Or you're going to have to take a camera like this and put a mirror behind it. You're going to see a lot of people on YouTube taking um, videos in the bathroom because the lighting is better. And also, because it's a small room, and then we need to cut the light on, whatever, it reflects, but it's a small room. The lighting is better, and they can use the mirror to reflect on. So you're going to see a lot of people using the bathroom to um, do their videos on. They're going to have it on a um, tripod. Um, this is one. This is actually, let me see if I can get it in a shot. This I look. This is one of the stands. Um, you see, okay, they put it in the bathroom, put it on a stand so it won't be wobbling around. Um, they have the smaller version to the tripod that you can sit on and do you to tour yourself portraits or whatever. Um, what else good about okay? This camera, like I said, you're gonna need a mirror behind it to do tutorials of yourself. If somebody else taping you, that's fine, you get all kind of angles and whatever. But if you're taping yourself, you're going to definitely need a mirror. I would not suggest to um, use the, to like face this part to the mirror. Because if you have any smudges or whatever, it's going to, um, you're going to, it's going to show on, you know, you're going to see it. So what you can do is you turn it this way. See how I'm turning this way? And if I cut it on, hold on, let me cut it on. Okay. See? I can see myself so I can adjust it to how I want to, you know, it to sit. See? So, actually, this part is facing me and I'm looking through the mirror at it. Okay? So, this is some quick little tips or whatever. When you go to the store, okay, to look for a camera, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the camera on. You're going to go all around the store. You're going to be able to see if it's lagging. I'm going to show you the lag test that I'm talking about. Okay. Right now, I have a light over my head. This is this definitely containing two webcams. I have a light over my head, a light behind me, a light here. So, you don't see too much lagging. So, if I cut the big light off, cut that light off, cut that light off. If you cut the big light, light off, okay, it's going to adjust itself. Okay. Now, you're going to see, see the lag. Okay. So if I cut this light off, it's going to adjust itself again. Okay. See, it's adjusting itself. Okay, you see the lag? Okay, I'm going to cut this light on. Um, so I'm going to cut this light off. Okay. See the lag? It's going to adjust itself. You see the lag? It get worse uh, as... You start taking away light. So, cut that light, cut the big light on. So, you're going to find that a lot of webcams are better in the daytime because you don't need as much lighting. The less light you have, the more it's going to lag. So, it's about to shut off, and I'm going to come right back and give you some more tips on cameras.